This past Sunday on Mother's Day, we started our baby bottle campaign to help raise money for Serenity Pregnancy Resource Center here at New Life. And if you were here, you saw us give out these bottles and we asked folks to take these bottles home and fill them up with change and then we bring them back on Father's Day. And we also say uh, not only change, but you can stick checks in there to help raise money for Serenity. So we encourage you, to, if you haven't picked one up, to pick one up and help us in this fundraiser for Serenity Pregnancy Resource Center. And 100% of the money that we raise here at New Life will go to that center. If you're not familiar with Serenity, Serenity is a pregnancy resource center where we offer free ultrasounds to girls who find themselves pregnant, not knowing what to do, culture telling them that they can even abort that baby that's in their womb we want them to come into serenity and we help them we give them a pregnancy test uh, we offer them uh, an ultrasound of their baby and statistics show that if a girl is abortion minded or abortion prone that up to 90 percent of the time when they see their baby on that ultrasound they choose life so uh, it's all free to the to the girls and then we have other things that we help them with uh, throughout their pregnancy and even after their pregnancy uh, with uh, all kinds of life skills, uh, free car seats, diapers, all those kind of things. So uh, your money and what you give helps go to that cause and it is a worthy cause because I believe this, that the fight in this culture that we're having for the, for the life of the unborn babies in the womb is the fight of our lifetime and cultural in the cultural sense. So uh, we are pro-life 100% of this church from the time of conception to the time of natural death and we believe that all life should be protected and in this case particularly we're talking about the life of the unborn and no matter what culture says no matter what they try to do they cannot win this argument that those babies in the womb are life and babies and we as Christians know that they are created in the image of God. Even Jeremiah says, and David both talk about the Lord knew them even before they were born and formed them in their mother's womb. And, and that's why we stand on the right side of history, as some might like to say, for the life of the unborn. And we are unequivocal about that and unashamed about that as a church, as a people, as Christians of this nation. So what? Some people say, what can I do to help in this cause for the pro-life movement? Well, one thing you can do is help us in our endeavor to raise money for these pregnancy centers. There's one in Cody, one in Powell, and they're such a blessing to our community, and they have been such a blessing to many, many of young girls who've walked through the doors of, of those centers. So we thank you for helping us pray, uh, not only for uh, that, that we can raise the money that we need to, pray for these uh, pregnancy centers that we have in Cody and Powell, for the people that work there, for our staff, and that God would bring these girls through our door to let them know that that life in their womb is a baby created in the image of God, uh, worthy of all the dignity of personhood. And, and then we're going to love that girl also and know that we care about them. So that's something that you can do. You can pray in a broader scale. There's many cultural issues, Supreme Court decisions that's coming up uh, that we can pray that, that this nation will see that uh, what we've done for these last 50 years is so abhorrent and so wrong in allowing abortions in this nation and change course to, to please what God would want. So pray about that. Thank you so much for your support. I know many of you supported Serenity for many years, and we just thank you so much for continuing to do that. And as a church, New Life, we will continue to do that to support them. So thank you. God bless you. A little change makes a big difference.